As a species, we have a hard time confronting the climate crisis effectively. Our nervous systems evolved to deal with threats that are close in time and space. So if a hungry lion walked into this room right now, I would stop talking, my adrenaline would go through the roof. The climate crisis presents that same level of risk to human life right now all around the world. But we're not wired to feel that in our bodies. My name is Miranda Massey. I'm the director of the Climate Museum. I'm sitting here at our exhibition, The End of Fossil Fuel in Soho on Wooster Street, free to all. And today we're going to be going through some, some of the elements of the show and talking about what they mean. We're the first climate dedicated museum in the United States, and we mobilize the arts and climate education to invite people into climate agency and power and action. The exhibition begins with a look at how the climate crisis and inequality are tied on a global level, internationally. So the countries that have done the most to cause the crisis are the best fortified against it. The countries that have done the least to cause the crisis are experiencing the most harm. In a multitude of ways, climate is intensifying inequalities that we live with um, and expressing them. And it's also just hurting all of us. And this is an illustration of it here in our own home city where prejudice left unaddressed from 100 years ago is affecting people's physical well-being even today. We were so lucky in this show to be able to commission a mural that grounds the entire exhibition and shifting from black and white because one side of the exhibition is in grayscale and then it transitions into the color of action and optimism and hope and resolve. As an individual, it's very normal to feel like, how can I have an impact on this global crisis? What our work looks to do is to teach people how we all can make a meaningful difference by starting to elevate the question, starting to spread the word. Since October, we've had thousands of stickers put up here, um, many thousands more. We, we expect will we'll also come up. Um, but one of my very favorite stickers, and it's went up on opening day and nobody has covered it up, um, which I think is because it's so powerful. She wrote, I will hope and fight. And that's what this is all about. Those are the two things that we need. And those are the two things that we hope the show inspires in visitors. Next time you're near Soho, stop by. It's free. You're bound to learn something. And most of all, you'll have the opportunity to recognize that you can take meaningful action on the climate crisis. That's how you'll leave. I promise.